and so on to the world of triangles. First thing you need to know for 11 plus are the different types of triangles. Let's start with an equilateral. Equilaterals have three sides that are all the same length. Also, their three angles need to be the same as well. So because the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees, all we have to do to find out that angle is take the 180 degrees and divide it equally between the three angles. So 3's into 1 goes 0, remainder 1. 3's into 18 goes 6. And 3's into 0 goes 0. So we've got 60 for this angle, 60 for this angle, and 60 for that angle. And of course, these are all amounts in degrees. If we move on, this is an isosceles triangle. Some people disagree about how to spell isosceles. I'm not going to get into that argument. I'm just looking at the features of them. So the, the most common isosceles that you tend to see is this type of shape. Um, we have two long lines and we have a short line. At the bottom of the two long lines, the two angles will be equal to each other and then we'll have a slightly different angle up at the top. Sometimes with an isosceles triangle you can see them laid out slightly differently. Um, this one for example is a lot flatter. Instead of having two long lines and a short line it's got two short lines and a long line. Um, sometimes if a shape is rotated it can make it not look isosceles so you have to be prepared to rotate the page so that you can see it um, in a little bit more detail. This one here actually has a right angle in it, so you can get a right angled isosceles. Um, because of the fact that you are given so much more information, you can quite often work out missing angles. So for example, in the orange one, we know that this angle here is 30, so that one must be 30 as well. So if we tot up our angles, we've used up 30 and 30, which is 60. If we take that away from 180, then we've got... 0 takes 0 is 0, 8 takes 6 is 2, 1 takes 0 is 1. So this angle G would be 120 degrees. With this one at the bottom here, we know that this angle is a right angle. So out of our 180, we've only got 90 left. So if we take that 90 degrees and we share it between the two angles, we will get 2's into 9 go 4, remainder 1. 2's into 10 goes to 5. So this angle will be 45 degrees and this angle will be 45 degrees. These, are, these triangles are scaling. Scaling basically means all three lengths are different and all three angles are different. So here we've got short, medium, long and here we've got short, medium and long. When you look at these um, triangles, you also find that the angles are all different. It is possible to get a right-angled scalene, so this angle here is a right angle. Still a scalene because it's got three different angles and three different lengths. In each triangle, as I've mentioned before, the angles all add up to 180. We can do a little bit of a check on this one here. So we've got 55 we've got 45 and we've got 80. Adding them up together, we should get 180 altogether. 5 and 5 is 10, 5 and 4 makes 9, add on the 1 makes 10, add on the 8 makes 180. So the angles are correct in this triangle. Looking at this one here, we have a missing angle. This is scaling. We've got three different lengths, three different angles. The angles that we've used already are 70 degrees and 50 degrees. So to work out what's left, first of all, let's work out the total of what we've used. We've got 120 degrees. Now we need to take that away from 180 to see what's left. 0 take 0 is 0, 8 take 2 is 6, 1 take 1 is 0. So this angle at the top will be 0 degrees. You can add these three back up together if you want to, to check that it makes 180. Next, moving on to the area of a triangle. This is an area, ha, oh, this is a, a part of maths where there are quite often mistakes made. If you imagine that this triangle was surrounded by a rectangle and we were to work out the area of that rectangle, we would do the base 
times the height. Now to work out the area of this triangle in yellow, if you imagine you could split the triangle in two using that vertical height line, this part of it here, this section I've shaded, is exactly the same as this yellow section here. So basically, the yellow section is half of this square section here. On the other side, this area I'm shading here is half of this rectangular section here. So altogether, the yellow triangle is half of the whole rectangle. So to change the area of the rectangle into the area of a triangle, you just divide by two. Moving on, if I'm to draw you a quick rectangle here, 